Welcome to part two. I'm going to say drop right back into this really quickly. It's empty bag now. This is from one of these shops. I believe it was in Galway. Yes. So this is Celtic Legends Amethyst Irish Jewelry. It's, it's uh, Celtic Harp. I love harps. I can go on and on about why I like harps and their sounds. Here's the reading. The reading. Can you just stay? Yeah, there you go. This I also I think was like 10, maybe 10 euros. A lot of, yeah, that was like a dollar store. That, that wasn't my thing. Even magnets were like $4.99 or $3.99. Depending where you go. These ones I have to give as gifts still. This is Conmare Marble. I did check. If you go on Amazon or go on eBay, this is like Conmare Marble is much more expensive. So if you're going to buy Conmare Marble jewelry, you better do it in Ireland. Don't do it online unless you have the money. So I saw like, like bracelets like these with like, they were just all Conmare Marble. I didn't think about it at the time, like it was like seven euros. Right now it's like $75 on Amazon or like eBay. I checked, I was gonna see if I could buy a gift online cause like I was running low on money at that point. I basically came home with almost nothing. <laughs> um, cause I, a, lot of the tra a lot of the taxis and buses would be, uh, so if you're gonna buy it, buy it there. So you don't have to buy it here. In America, because, I don't know. So this, look at this, 9 euros for this, and it would be more expensive online now. It just, this is not the gift. These are the ones I'm talking about. These ones are real, they're like more expensive online. And this was 9 euros. So just buy it there, you know, just bite the bullet, buy it there. This one was 8 euros and 50 cents. That was really cute. Older for gifts. But one, I might, I think the one, one of the green ones, I forget, it might be for myself as well as trying to. This one is a foldable thing, Blarney Castle. It's a cool, cool map. This guy had a lot of land, a lot of nice hiking spots, and cool places to walk to. Um, there's a bee sanctuary, I believe that's what it is. And um, we went there. This is the horses, and so many parts. Plus, we got to we uh, got to go to the poison garden, 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 and went to the arboretums. And I got to see the druids' cave, the witches' kitchen. I got a bunch of those. I saw my brother. We were running through the area. With the seven sisters, the fairy glade. Uh, that was exciting. Uh, I left an offering, two different offerings, an American penny, and then a small euro. Let's not question me, uh, as I just said, a fairy, in my other video, fairies are special to me. So these are the places. Poison Garden is not as what you think. Read about it, because it's actually interesting. I thought it's kind of clever. I got these for myself. I kind of decided in Italy in 2014 that I wanted to collect rosary beads every time I go to a different area or country. That was just a thought I had at the time, and I kind of want to stick with it. Which is why I have Byzantine um, rosary beads, and I have these ones now, Irish Celtic rosary, eight nine nine euros. But like, think about, like a lot of the euros add up. I mean, yeah, these aren't as expensive as the um, the what, what costs more is like the taxis and the um, like the buses and the tram. And I say this because we didn't rent, do a rental car, and I can explain why we didn't do a rental car. That was like a whole thing. We have Dublin. I did. I just saved these things. <laughs> um, Paddy wagon. This is. I think this is our tour. We got to go to. Um, we got to go to Cliffs of Moher and Aran Islands all in a day, which is very nice. It was raining for the Cliffs of Moher. This is talks with other places you can go to, and it's not. Uh, yeah, you can read it if you want. Sorry, I'll just let you read it. Beautiful, beautiful places. It kind of makes me think like the Cliffs of Moher looks beautiful probably in any season. If you think about it. Very nice. We have this bag I got, and I believe this one was from where are you from? Seven fifty. This one might have been. Where were we that day? Might have been Kilkenny. 
It might have been. Anyways, they had a really cute hand craft stores things. Look at this. And it's a bigger bag inside a little bag. And it has Scotties. I love Scotties. I I love all dogs, really, to be honest. But it's by Eco Chic. Really cool, I think. <laughs> Scotty's everywhere, and it's a cute little reusable bag, and I think it's really—I just love it so darn. All the colors and patterns. And yeah, and you put it back. Put it back in here. It was super easy to pack, which is perfect. That's that's a key. Next, this is oh shit, from Shannon. And the bag is dripping everywhere. Oh, and there's a receipt. Another receipt. This is a puff pen wearing a little hat. The pink, I don't understand what happened there. The pink was a little chest. Clips of more. And he cost seven euros. Uh, these three are gifts from Kinsale, from Smith's Centra Kinsale Cork. This is their card, I believe. I love this. I really do. I got three of these Roy Stones. One for me and one and two from uh, my uh, two of my relatives. <laughs> Same that are going with the bracelets. Next we have a no puffin keychain. I don't know why it says no puffin. It's gonna go probably on my student ID. Because I love puffins. So two ninety nine here. Uh this is from Dingle. Dingle was a good place to go. Um, check out. I'd be recommended by a lot of locals. This is a map of the museum, National Museum of Ireland. That was a nice place to go to. It was free to get in. Really cool things to check out. Like, really cool, really ancient. They even had cave people in there, or like, they're like mummified bodies. Powell's music because they have instruments that I'd like to get. I have this whole thing. Ooh, what is this for? Tax free, this is a sweater shop. That's what it's called, and that is a thing that I need, that is the main form I needed for my tax. This is from the, uh, the, the Guinness factory. This is not in English, this, so if you speak Italian, perfect. This is all in Italian. It's the only one I picked. We went to the gravity bar. So your ticket, when you go to Guinness factory, your ticket comes with a free drink, like a pint. Uh, it was low in the morning, and I decided to go to soda, and my mom got a soda. Very, very good. Their fondas are really, really, I can just go into a whole thing, a whole video on food. Uh, tell me in the comments if you want that, because I'm very passionate about food and the drinks. There's another one. Our story begins here. It's a really cool experience. Let's check out the guy's student discount. So if you're a student, bring your student ID. Save this it's a hunt museum. I saved it for myself to look at. Save this because I, I like the idea of like going there, but we didn't have time to go there. But it would have been a cool place to check out sometime. I got a Guinness patch for myself. Matches my uh, my cousins. I got her one, and this is the back. I got a puffin pencil. Really cute. Be great to use for school. Let's go into class rolling in with like a puffin pencil. Oh. It made sense when I bought it. Okay. <laughs> and then we got Explore Living History. Put some more. And that explains the Aaron's oh, the Aaron Islands. We went to Yeah, I believe it was I can't pronounce it right, but Last things, we, I got this. 
It is a type of rotary that you can hang in the car, and I think I'll hang it once I get a puppy. I got a keychain with puppies on it. Let's clip some more. That is it. That is the last one. Oh, no, it's not. I went to Flying Tiger, and this one got these are reusable, and I got them for a friend for their kitchen. Reusable, um, they're like dish towels, kind of. You, you use them and you can reuse them, and then they dry up. They're made of cellulose, and they're really cool to use. Definitely check them out. I haven't seen these before. I've seen them online. I just haven't seen them in person. So when I saw these, I was like, hey, my friend can use these. This is perfect. And then I got, yeah, I got another gift, but I won't show online. And yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's so long. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved going here and I loved buying things, but I was trying to be careful about what I bought. A few things I bought. Um, no, they're not upstairs yet, like, I think mo most of this is, like, everything, because I already gave away a few gifts, but, yeah, this is it, hope you've enjoyed it, go in to see, go see my other videos, too, <laughs> and I'm using the quick, so these are also part of the Ireland hole, these are the shirts that I got, this is from, when, this is from Dingle, and we were on the boat, and we got to see Skellig Island, actually, no, it was part of, like, Paddy Wagon, we got to, like, stop by the side of the road, and see it in the distance, and get photos, so I thought that was really cool. We need to see it, but that would have been really awesome if we could have. Um, puffins are my favorite bird, along with penguins. They're not related, I will tell you that. And, um, yeah, I love Star Wars, so when I, when I, you know, when I saw the location they filmed it, I was like, I gotta get these. There's puffins with lightsabers. They're so cute. And I just love this style. I was like, I wanted this style over the other styles. It also reminds me of, like, when you enter a video game with, like, level. I got this when I was at Trinity College. My brother and I got the same design because we really liked how this one looks the most. And I got it on Burgundy, and this is. It says, you can see, like, it says Trinity College, which is my puppy. And this is also my bracelet. This is 59.9 euros. It's a nice material, and I really like it. I'm definitely gonna wear both the shirts, I don't know when. Those are the last, like, those are the main two shirts I bought. I didn't buy any other shirts. Hi, guys. I'm doing this video to finish up my Ireland haul. So, let's just get into this. Um, if you're looking at my face, I'm not wearing makeup. I actually was in the middle of working on a cosplay. Thus, I have a little bit on my eyes. Not so important. Unless you want to check out a Hitalia cosplay on my TikTok. We'll just see what you can Okay, so let's just go into this. So the first thing is like Ernie Unraveled. This is from a little shop in Kilorglen. Kilorglen. I cannot pronounce things. What a, what a joke. Okay, so this shop is all things fairies. And I have her card because I might buy more in the future. Or like when I want to treat myself on a holiday. Such as my birthday just happened. So I have been debating what do I want to buy myself. It's not related to this. And there's here she is. It's very cute. I love that they come with dragons. So there was another one that was really cute. It was blue, but I thought I should start with the green. So it's kind of like Earth Fairy. She could be a woodland fairy. She has a little dragon to keep her company. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I like the little sparkle added on. And the wings are pretty cool. Um, you can see at the back how they're painted. And the rocks. Um, the rocks say... P W one seven D seven four one D. I don't know what that really means. The bottom says twelve ninety five. That's what I paid for her. And then on the, on the tag it says Companions of the Forest, and it says it's on the Nemesis now. So let's look. 